How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. We have yet another RuneScape Mobile video for you guys today and this one is going to be five things that you should know about RuneScape Mobile before you actually start playing. Five things that new players should know before they get too far into the game maybe if you've already started. I assume you may probably already start before you start looking at YouTube stuff but this is five things that you should know about RuneScape Mobile before you start playing. With RuneScape Mobile's release, there is going to be a lot of brand new players to the game, and that is absolutely awesome to hear. But there's a few things about RuneScape that everyone should know, and obviously, this carries across to both parts of the game as well. But I just wanted to make pretty much all of the new mobile players absolutely aware of this. However, if you are new to RuneScape Mobile, if you're new to RuneScape and you're watching this video, finding my channel for the first time, welcome to the game. If you have any questions, leave that comment down below. I will answer as many as I can. And also, do subscribe to the channel because there'll be a lot more RuneScape Mobile stuff coming out if there is a demand for it. Also, leave a like on the video, guys, if this does help you out and if you enjoy because it will help it get to other people as well. And that is pretty much it for the intro. So, let's get started on this. What five things should you know before you start playing RuneScape Mobile or before you get too far into the game? Okay, so the first thing that you should absolutely know before you start playing RuneScape Mobile, before you get too far into the game, is that RuneScape Mobile is the same game as on PC. RuneScape 3 on PC is actually the exact same game that you are playing on your mobile phone. Everything that is in the PC version is absolutely available on your mobile phone. If you log off on your phone and then go and log on on your PC, you will log in in the exact same place that you logged out. Okay, this is the same game. You are playing a PC game on your phone. This is one of the things that, in my opinion, makes RuneScape Mobile such a great mobile MMORPG for you all to play on your phone because it is a PC game. You've got access to a PC MMO on your phone and honestly, they've done a really good job of actually porting it over. There will be some things that need work and of course that is just the way it's going to be, but they have done a really good job of doing so. But keep that in mind that you are playing a PC game on your phone because one, a lot of the content was designed originally for PC, even though they are now keeping in mind mobile when they actually release new stuff to make sure that it is going to be possible and they are working on mobile in a way to make it so you can pretty much do anything in the game on your phone that you, you still already can. It will be a little bit more difficult in some places, but honestly, most of the time, anything you can do on PC, you will be able to do on your phone. It is not a problem. Don't feel like you are missing out. That being said, if you decide that you do want to go ahead and then continue this game on, on your PC, or if you don't have one at the moment and you do eventually get a PC, you can do that. You can log on, you can continue on with your account, and you can do absolutely anything. And then as soon as you're finished and logged off on your PC, you can then go on your phone again if you want to sit on the couch, do a nice little quest while you're chilling, or just AFK some stuff while you're having your dinner. You can definitely do that. I don't want any of the new players thinking they were playing a different game. Everybody in game is going to be on mobile or anything like that because they're not. Most of the players you see will probably be on PC, but you can absolutely interact with them, get talking to them and get involved with them as well. Also, jump in my Discord. There's a link in the description down below. There's a lot of people in there that will be happy to help you learn the game as well if you're still in a phase of learning. So that would be something that could be quite useful to you. And you can definitely access that on your phone as well. So if you're interested, there's a link in the description. Everybody's welcoming. It'll definitely help you out if you have any questions. Okay, number two, while you're learning RuneScape, there will be a lot of times that you feel confused and lost. The game lets go of your hand fairly early and there's a lot of content in RuneScape. Like there is so much stuff that you can be doing in this game and once you are through the tutorial and done the little bit of extra stuff afterwards, the game kind of just lets go of your hand and says, go ahead, enjoy your adventure, go and do what you want to do. Now, you may feel confused straight away, you may feel lost, you may not know what exactly to do, you may not know where to start, and you may not know what half of the stuff you're seeing on screen actually means. But you've made it over to YouTube already for one, but what I'm saying to you now is, make sure you use things like the RuneScape Wiki. There is a, there's a whole absolute website called the RuneScape Wiki, and this has almost every single bit of information about RuneScape 3 on there for you to use. You can search absolutely anything. If you search Raw Chicken RuneScape 3, I promise you the RuneScape Wiki will pop something up showing you what Raw Chicken is in RuneScape 3. It'll have information on it, how to get it, where you find it, how to cook it, what level you need. Honestly, it is jam-packed with information, and if you get confused about anything or you need any info on anything whatsoever, the RuneScape Wiki is an amazing place to go. Not only that, you've already made it to YouTube, like I said. Use YouTube guides, use YouTube comments. There's some amazing content creators for this game. They're all super helpful and you will actually get so much information from YouTube as well. There's people who make quest guides that'll tell you step by step what to do. You can follow them along and do what they do. There's people who make guides on absolutely everything. And then there's people who'll just be there to entertain you, answer questions, all that sort of good stuff. Hop onto Twitch, ask people questions in chat. 
you will be absolutely welcome to ask questions. People do not mind whatsoever. Of course, I can't account for everybody. There might be that one bad egg somewhere. I don't know. I've not met any of myself, but you never know. I can't tell you that everybody and everybody absolutely is 100% nice, but you know, most of them and pretty much everyone I know is more than willing to help. But like I said before, Discord as well, get in there, ask questions there, use the resources that are available to you because this game does get confusing. There will be times that you are sat there thinking, I don't know what I'm doing. What the hell does this mean? Even now, I'll get something and I'll think, I don't know what that is. What the hell does that do? What does, is this got any use? And I'll just go to the wiki, have a good search or ask friends. This is something that you should absolutely take advantage of as a new player. Okay, the third thing on our list is going to be membership. Now, this game has a free-to-play version and a membership version. It's still, still the same game, it's still the same version. I suppose that's the wrong way to say it. It's the same version, but you can have a subscription to unlock more content, or you can just play in the free-to-play version, and you still, even then, you still have a lot of content. But all the skills in the game, some of them are separated between free-to-play, and some of them are pay to play you have to be a member to access quite a lot of the skills you have to be a member to access quite a lot of the areas in the game and a lot of the content like the weapons the bosses all that sort of stuff however keep in mind that when you're a new player chances are you are going to be using mostly the free to play stuff to begin with anyway of course if you want to be straight away and just go ahead get your membership sorted out on a subscription you can do this by paying for it on the uh, the store or you can actually work towards it as a free to play player by leveling up your skills, gaining some gold in-game, and then spending that gold on the Grand Exchange, which is basically our marketplace, completely driven by players and their demand and their supply, and you can buy a bond off of there. You can use that bond for two weeks of membership in-game, and then that will give you plenty of time again to go back and work on building that cash pile up again to continue that on. Personally, I pay for all my membership through bonds and I've probably only paid for a subscription for a, f a few months in like the past couple of years. As once you do get a high level in the game, it is really, really easy to sustain that one bond every two weeks. But it may take a little while as a low level player, but again, you don't have to stress that you're not a member. You can play this game as free to play for a lot of hours. There are so many quests as a free to play. There are still bosses as free to play and there's plenty of leveling to do and you will have so much time to spend as a free to play player and you won't feel that limited seeing as there's so much stuff you can actually do. That being said, members do get quite a lot of benefits and there is a lot of content when you unlock it once you are a member. So it is something that I would suggest that all of you do work towards getting eventually because membership in this game makes it a thousand times better, gives you so much more stuff to do, gives you so many more goals to work towards. And of course, if you're enjoying the game that much, it doesn't make any sense to not pay for it with in-game money if that's the way you want to go. But at the same time, if you want to pay for a subscription, you can do so and it will save you that extra cash in-game as well rather than having to pay out for it every two weeks. Number four is kind of to protect all of you brand new players. Now, RuneScape 3 is a game where you are able to trade anything you want to another player. You can trade stuff, it doesn't have a limit, you don't have to give like an exact value. If you wanted to give your friend all of your items in the entire game, everything that you've worked for, you can do that. But with that being a thing in the game, this opens the door for a lot of people to do things like scams, trying to hack your account, basically trying to steal all of the items, all of the work that you've done. And there's ways that you can protect yourself against this. And I just wanted to make sure that you guys were aware of the options that you do have. First off, make sure that your account has a good password on it. Make sure that it is secured that way. Don't use something silly and obvious like your name or the same as your email address or something like that. Second, if you can, when you sign up, if you haven't already, then use an email address that you haven't actually used on something else. You may thank me later if you get really invested into this game and you have a lot of items, a lot of wealth that you don't want to lose because trust me, that's the way this game gets. Also, you can add a authenticator to your account. So when you log in, you will have to also use an authenticator app to allow access to it. Now, this may seem a little bit counterproductive on your phone, but if someone tries to log in from somewhere else, they will still need that code, which is on your phone. So that is definitely worth doing, especially if, again, if you're invested in the game and you don't want to risk losing any of the stuff that you've got because it's losing hundreds and hundreds of hours of progress is just not fun. It's happened to me in the past where I've been hacked and I have lost quite a lot of wealth on that. And honestly, it made me take a long, like a really long break. So it's something that you want to just fully avoid. Make sure you've got an authenticator on there. And that's pretty much it. Don't share your password with anyone. 
tr people get weird on this game. If they ask for your password and you think you can trust them, just don't give it to them because there's a good chance that one day if you fall out or something, they'll be like, right, well, I'm taking all your money. I'm taking your millions. Thank you very much. And then the last thing to secure your account is make sure you've got a bank pin on. But then if someone does get into your account somehow, they have to then get a bank pin to go into your coin pouch, to go into your bank and take anything out. It's definitely worth putting one of these on. It just delays them getting into your account and gives you time to recover it. Okay, so now we've talked about securing your account. What can you do to not get scammed, to avoid getting lured into something that you don't really want to do because you're going to lose everything? Right. If something in game, this is the simplest way to put this, right? If something in game sounds too good to be true, if someone's doing a giveaway of a thousand billion gold coins and all this amazing stuff, you don't want to get involved. It's too good to be true because it is. It is not true. It is a scam. It is a lure. They will take you somewhere. They will take you with your gear. They will take your gear off of you. They will do something to make you not go for it. Not only that, they may tell you that you're going to be in a YouTube video where it's going to be a big giveaway. You have to go here and follow this link through there. They will somehow get your account through that. It'll be a phishing link. Don't click on any random weird links that are in like a description of a video claiming to be a big massive giveaway. I'm quitting the game. All this stuff. Anyone who's quitting the game and giving away all their money, don't bother. Nine times out of ten, no. 99 times out of 100, it is a scam. Don't fall for it. There's been people that I know recently who have fallen for this. Do not fall for it. Also on Twitch and YouTube, you may see a stream of someone who is quitting the game and it will have thousands of viewers and you think, oh, big streamers quitting the game. That that must be real. That must be real. They've got thousands of viewers on Twitch. Trust me, this is a botted view count. And honestly, the biggest streamers on RuneScape always get these and it's so frustrating to see. But don't go in there. That would be another phishing link. Don't follow any links like that. Don't log into anywhere that isn't your mobile app or the actual mobile client. Don't log into anywhere else. Don't risk it. Don't get sidetracked by all these ideas of bots and stuff that will play the game for you. It won't work. It will be a scam and you will lose everything. Some of the common lures and scams that you could get is someone messaging you in game, like I said, saying they've got a big giveaway to do. You just have to go to YouTube and follow a link or pretending to be someone from Jagex, which is the company that runs the game. They'll message you say that they want to make you like a player moderator or anything along those lines. And they'll ask you for your username and password or email address, stuff like that. Don't give it to them. Trust me. Just report them, ignore them, move on. Okay, number five on this list and the last one we're going to talk about today is RuneScape is not a sprint to the end game. You don't want to rush it. You want to take your time. You want to enjoy everything. And I really can't stress this enough. Enjoy the new player experience. Learn as much as you can on the way. Trust me, it will benefit you in the end. You don't want to just skip through stuff. You don't want to rush through to the end because you'll get to the end and you'll think, I don't really know what I did. I don't know why I'm here. I don't know what I need to be doing now. I don't have any goals. As you're doing the early game stuff, as you're leveling up your character, you start to sort of get attached to your character. You start to sort of make goals for it and things that you want to achieve on your character. If you rush straight towards the end game, say if you went and spent all the money on buying keys and stuff, which by the way, if that's what you want to do, go for it. No one's judging you. But at the same time, when you get there, you're not going to have any sort of like goals that you want to set for your character. You'll you'll be thinking, right, I've got all this stuff. What do I do now? And I really recommend that you take your time with the early game. Just go through, learn all the little details, all the small things about each skill so you know what how they work. And basically, by the end of that, once you've gone through all the beginning stuff, you've done the beginner quests, you've paid attention to the tutorial, and you've basically learned how the basics of the game works, this is the best position you can be in. You can, from this point, set yourself goals, long-term goals, because you understand where you're going with stuff. You understand the ins and outs of the basics of the game. You know what you want to work towards, and you can look at end game and sort of think, right, that's where I want to be. That's where I want my account to be. I'm going to work towards this. And if it takes two years, then it takes two years. If it takes two months for you, because for some reason you are stupidly efficient and you are ridiculously good at the game, then good on you. You've got there really fast, but at the same time, you've put the work in, you understand why you're there. You've got that sense of achievement when you get there which is something this game is absolutely brilliant at, giving you the sense of achievement when you get levels up, when you get in drops at places, when you get progression on your gear, when you progress your account. It's really good for giving you that feeling, and that's what keeps people playing. It, I highly recommend that you take your time with this. Don't sprint to the end. It is not a sprint. It is a marathon, as people will tell you. You will ask anyone in game. They will tell you this game is not a sprint. It is a marathon. Take your time. Really enjoy being a new player because that is a massive part of this game as well. You've got a game here in your hands that is really good for the early game. Trust me, 
beginning experience in this game is brilliant. Don't waste it. Enjoy it. It's not like most games where you just want to get to end game, do all the raiding, all the bosses. You want to get there eventually, but the game in the beginning of this is still just as good. Work on stuff you want to work on. Play your own way. Don't listen to other people's sort of things that say you have to do this, you have to do that. You can do whatever you want to do. And that's the thing. Once you understand the game, you can set what you want to do and you work towards it like that. Take your time. Enjoy it. Don't rush it. Enjoy being a new player. That's pretty much it, guys. That's going to be the last point, and I hope that it made sense. I hope that it wasn't just a big load of rambling, but that point is, in my opinion, one of the most important ones. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it for me today. I hope you have enjoyed the video. I hope you got some useful information out of it, and I hope now you've got some ideas of some things you should keep an eye out for before you start playing, some things you should maybe do before you start playing as well, and maybe you understand the game a little bit more than you did now that you've watched the video. If you did, leave a like on it. Do subscribe if you are new to the channel. Do subscribe if you are new to the game. I will be making plenty more content like this if it is in demand. And of course, if you have any questions, as I said, get in the comments. Leave them there. I will answer as many as I can, as quick as I can. I really don't mind. It can be any question whatsoever. If you think it's stupid, get down there and ask it. I don't care. It's not stupid. I will answer it for you. Anyway, thank you all so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye.